Hello. Today I'm going to continue to experience, share my experience with Cloud Control 13C setup. Um, last time I already did two way to set up agent on the host once in portion, nothing manually. And now if we install the agent on the remote host, we're ready to discover the clusters or database or listener or web servers uh, on remote uh, location. So here is the next one we're going to talk about is this end cluster as the monitor target. The target we're going to monitor is actually is Oracle Rack, R-A-C. The rack system is usually have a different nodes on it. The system we have here is the one rack system with the four instance for server. Unfortunately, we need to install the agent on each server. There's no single way. You can just uh, say, when you install database on Rack server, you know that you can run it just once, uh, install all of them on full server, but not the case in OMS. In OMS, here is a step we have to follow. Install agent on server 1, 2, 3, 4. When you finish install agent on four servers, you can dis discover the cluster target and install it. The cluster target is the one you find the cluster, right? When you install it, then you can find the other target on the cluster, which is a cluster database or listeners or homes, everything uh, on this cluster. So here's the one we already show you how to install the agent on the host. Here's where we really quickly try to show you on the server one how to do it. You click on setup and target and target manually. The next one, install agent on the host. Same thing like you did before and then it's just no difference. Here's the next page, you click on the end. You put in your host name and the type platform. The next one, the detail, you're going to put in where is your base directory and the pop up the instant directory. You select and name the credential you created before, which is a log on the Oracle uh, user on the host. When you did this one, click, you click next. The page will give you details. Like I explained to you before, there's two ports that has to be open. On, on OMS host, you need to open 4903. But on the remote host, open port 3872. If everything's fine, click on deploy agent. The first initial will be passed, no problem, generally. And the second part here became this icon here. You can see it. In that case, it says you need a root, right? You don't have it. So bypass it, click on continue, select continue on all hosts. When you finish, you will see this screen. For Green check one is root she files. You have to run it manually when you log on the root to do it. And then this installation is done on one server. You go to a second one, third one, the fourth. When you finish this four of them, the next step we can start it. We'll call target which is cluster target, we can add it in OMS. So 
Here is the procedure. You log in as OMS as a sysman user. Right? Click on Setup and Target. We're still using and target manually. Later, I'm going to show you there's another way to do it. Uh, but this way is so generally so you have a guided process, much easier to follow. The next page, you take this one and using guided process. The next page will be give you a lot of choice uh, which one to pick up. For the Oracle rank systems, you select a Oracle cluster and HAS. You select this one, click N, you go next page. In next page, ask you, you need to find one host. Which host? The host, you have four of them. You click on this search, click on search, it, it is going to the pop up, all the host available. You pick up one of them in your cluster. You say pick up the silver one, right? And then you select it. You click on discover target. The system is going to discover the target for you. The final one on the four host, silver one, two, three, four, right? The name is PROD scan. When you got this page, you click on here, save. When you save it, you're going to get confirmation is successfully. So your cluster PROD scan was ended on your own OMS server. You click close to finish. After you already end the PROD scan this cluster, you were able to end the other target like a cluster database or listener or worker homes, uh, ASM. We're going to talk about it next time. Thanks for listening. See you next time.